If you're a new or experienced mortgage loan originator or real estate agent, I'm going to cover the top three reasons why people in your industries fail and what you can do about it. All I ask in return is that if you like the content that I'm providing, please subscribe to my channel for more tips and useful topics that can assist you on your journey. Fair enough? Oh boy, this is a big one, and this mistake will bury you in the long run. Many mortgage originators and real estate agents view their sales activities as a numbers game only. It's about the number of transactions they can close. But the truth is, if this is your mindset, then you're absolutely shorting your future with transactional thinking because you're failing to understand the enormous return on your investment when you're building and maintaining relationships with your clients. Did you know that most people do on average about seven mortgage transactions or three home purchases in their lifetime? Have you ever stopped to think about what that would translate to into earned revenue for you if you were the person who maintained a meaningful relationship with your past clients rather than contacting them only when you wanted to solicit them? I'll expand on this topic later, but do your math. What would that do for you personally? How would getting three to seven transactions benefit you if you took the time to sincerely build relationships with your clients? And keep in mind, this doesn't even take into account the number of referrals you'll get because you have built trust with them. Reason number two, failing to creatively adapt during market changes. The great thinker Albert Einstein once said, quote, problems cannot be solved by the same level of thinking that created them. End quote. Amen to that. Look, we all make mistakes. We all hold on to faulty strategies for too long sometimes. By and large, we as humans are creatures of habit. That means we do things that have worked for us in the past, even when they become dated and useless. And we do this because we think that these approaches highlight our strengths when they're actually spotlighting our major weaknesses, which is the failure to creatively adapt. The landscape of our industry is constantly changing and creatively adapting is what helps us stay solvent in times as tough as what we're going through right now. We cannot afford to hold on to tired strategies that may have worked in times when business was booming. Being stubborn about your approach to the game, that's not commitment. It's a recipe for failure. You have to be creative enough to recognize when your strategies aren't keeping up with the market and learn how to change your approach to attain success. The next time you feel like things aren't clicking for you, ask yourself these questions. What is the out of the box answer here? What could I do to stand out to clients? What strategies could I try that are outside of my comfort zone? For example, content like this. Why aren't you doing it? Look, I've heard all the excuses, but honestly, none of it makes sense to me. And frankly, what you are saying is that it's not important to you to get yourself out there to the masses. So here's my question. Do you want help? If so, all of my contact information is posted below in the video description. Reach out. I'll help you. Let's get to reason number three, not being clear about what you want. First off, let's be honest with each other. No one got into the mortgage or real estate business because their doctor told them to take it easy. Most of us know by now that sales in and of itself can be very stressful as a profession with lots of highs and lots of lows, but it doesn't have to be. Success in anything doesn't happen by accident. It comes from hard work, solid effort, and the ability to ignore anyone who is trying to derail you, whether intentional or not. As you look to build your business in trying times, you'll need to understand and apply these same principles or face the harsh reality that things aren't going your way because, well, Maybe you're not staying mentally tough. Think about where you want to be, not where you are. Be intentional about changing your life by changing your perspective because bottom line is you're amazing. Understand and acknowledge that self-doubt is a constant battle and you have to be willing to fight every single negative self-defeating thought that enters your brain. Self-doubt is a silent dream crusher. It'll creep into any meaningful situation that's outside of your comfort zone because your mind is wired to protect you from taking risks. This means that you have to take the necessary steps to reprogram your thinking when it starts to whisper in your ear, you gotta shut those thoughts down. Don't give in, 
Don't give mental recognition to failure. Instead, stay focused on what you want. You don't necessarily need to know how you're going to get there, but there is one thing you must know. Where do you want to go? Be clear on what you want to accomplish. You've got the ability. You've got the resources. You've got the opportunity. The only thing that is missing is likely your decision to go for it. I hope this helped you. And in return, remember, my only request was hit that subscribe button for more content like this and like and feel free to share this video as well. And if you want to discuss some strategy, feel free to contact me. My information is listed below the video. You got this. I'm Uncle Aaron and I'm out.